Two very different races unfolding at similarly frantic paces. Huddersfield are targeting survival in the division from which Sunderland are trying to escape. It comes for and against them in the balance. A bit of consistency wouldn't go amiss for either. Joe Bellingham is back for the Black Cats. He scored from the bench against Plymouth at the weekend. Ben Wells and Rodinho Balker are brought into the team for Huddersfield by caretaker John Worthington. It's Wells first start in six. Balker has recovered from injury. Huddersfield haven't moved from 21st position in the championship since mid-October. Quite astonishing. 18 match days have come and gone. They're looking to claim the table now when it matters. And Thomas breaks through. Sunderland survived first of all, and the second shot was he's passed. Nisamu aiming for the top corner. And that's an injection of encouragement for the home supports. It's not far away. led 2-0 and 3-2 against Southampton at the weekend. Conceded three goals in the final dozen or so minutes to lose 5-3. Bit of a sickener for John Worthington and his players and the fans. Here goes Sunderland now. And for a second, Nichols was scrambling. Pierre Equa thought he saw enough space. Sunderland not doing well on the road at the moment. Just one win in their last nine. And then Birmingham away this weekend, a reunion with Tony Mowbray. And there's the man that replaced him. Oh, that's a pretty severe body check by Luke O'Neill, who is straight on to one of his teammates, Leo Hjelda, gets an earful. Card. I don't be argued with at all. Little team meeting here. What do Huddersfield have planned? Oh, it's spilled and knocked in. I'm not sure it was quite the way they envisaged it working. But perfect or not, Huddersfield have the lead. Matty Pearson was so crucial at both ends as they survived last campaign. Five goals during the run-in. That'll do for starters here. It's a lovely turn by Clark. He's driving in and corner forthcoming. Anywhere was acceptable for Tom Lees. There's a pop from distance. Nichols happy to gather at the second attempt, but at the expense of another corner. Dan Neal's strike powerful. Some of them have been on a bizarre pattern of form since October. Two defeats followed by two wins and a draw. Repeated four times. And one, two of the last three, the other one being a draw, so they'll lose this if that pattern continues. And Huddersfield have a chance to double. What is their slender advantage at the moment?
Plenty of dip. Patterson was beaten. And a real fizzing effort from Karoma. Many would have expected the cross. Maybe Patterson did. And that's really well played by Thomas. And Ian stands his ground, important, given he's on a yellow. Wonderful ball, and no risks can be taken. Hume diverts behind, there was no alternative. He had two breathing down his neck. Thomas with the corner, he's having a good game. Oh, and off the line. To significant blue and white cries for a penalty. Sunderland counter in the meantime, it's short lived. And all the way through now, let's have a look at this. Joe Billingham, right place, right time. But that looks like an arm, and the youngster may have got away with one here. Three 1-1 one, one draws on the bounce before that. Turn in form for John Worthington. I hope that he sees this over the line. And that three points go the way of his team, but here comes Sunderland now. Oh, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping from Nichols. Hume's big chance, Sunderland's big chance. What an efficient counter until the final hurdle. They haven't shown too much in attack this evening, mind you. Excellently done. Huddersfield looking to put it to bed here. And Sunderland scramble it away momentarily. Rudoni's ball in. And once again. And then in the end it's saved by Patterson. Bergsorg a handful from the bench. Bulldozing. His way to goal, that's a good piece of goalkeeping. One goal. Second bite. Maybe Sunderland are in behind again here, another good ball across. And almost twisting their own knife. Fingertips on it from Nichols. This is where Huddersfield want to be away from their goal right now. And that is one big straight, and suddenly Huddersfield have a bit of room to breathe. Five points to buffer, and perhaps the sanctuary of the mid-teens will provide a safe haven. Sunderland stay a point from the playoffs, it's a scrap up there. 42 points still to play for, but their travelling misery continues. Huge win for the hosts. It finishes Huddersfield 1, Sunderland 0.